What's going on guys? Andrew here with another episode of East Coast Tech. And in today's episode, I'll show you 10 things you didn't know you could do with your MacBook. Number one, you can hide windows super quick. This is especially handy when you're looking at something you shouldn't be. Or when somebody suddenly enters your room, simply press Command and H and your MacBook will instantly hide whichever window you're currently looking at. Number two, did you know you could customize keyboard shortcuts to automatically spell out words and phrases? You could program your MacBook to swap out BRB for Be Right Back, IKR for I Know Right, or FML for, well, you get the idea. To get this feature going, head on over to System Settings, select Language and Region, followed by Keyboard Settings, then Text. Press the plus sign to start adding your personalized shortcuts. Number three. This one's made for people who enjoy reading in the dark. If you're tired of super bright lights, then hold down Command, Control, Alt, and the A key to invert all the colors on your screen. This should be easier on the eyes for those late night strolls around the internet. And add a little surrealism as well. Always press for time? Never seem to have enough hours in the day? Well, how about you make your day a bit easier and add programs to automatically run on startup? Go to System Preferences, then Users, then Login Items. From there, select the applications you would like to automatically run on startup. And hopefully, take back a little bit of your day. Number five. If you're like me, you occasionally misplace files on your computer and it may take more than a one finder window to locate them. If you'd like to declutter your windows and make searching a breeze again with finder selected, click on window up at the top of the screen, then select merge all windows to have a convenient and more manageable workspace. Did you finally find that wonderful creme brulee recipe your friends have been drooling over only to find that all the measurements are in metric? Well, Spotlight Search on your MacBook is more than capable of hashing out those conversions in a jiffy. Click on the magnifying glass at the top of your screen or hold command in the spacebar to bring up Spotlight Search. Type in the measurement you need and let Spotlight do the rest. Number seven, no longer are emojis restricted for cell phone use. Now you can use them in all manners of type communication. While typing on a MacBook, press Command, Control, and the spacebar to bring up the emoji menu. Then add all the silly faces and poop icons you want. Number eight. If you're looking for a truly hands-free computing experience, try turning on Dictation under System Settings. Afterwards, you can set up a slew of new voice commands such as opening programs or highlighting text on your screen. Best to use your imagination with this one. Number nine. So you're trying to find that one great picture you took at the beach last summer when you were on vacation, somewhere warm and tropical. Normally, you'd be systematically opening and closing each picture, hoping to find the right one. You could try to squint at the thumbnails, but that's not really saving you any time. Or you could try selecting the picture file and pressing the spacebar to get a quick preview of the file without the hassle of having to open it. Number 10. Lastly, your MacBook can quickly summarize large bodies of text into more bite-sized readables. For example, a large Wikipedia article on the defeat and dissolution of the Ottoman Empire becomes a more palatable reading experience. It's not a replacement for the full thing, but at least you could build upon it. Also, please don't use this feature to plagiarize. There's plenty more features where that came from, but I wanted to take the time to share the ones that I like most. If you like this video, hit that like button, get subscribed if you want to see more content from me. This was Andrew with East Coast Tech, and I'll see you next time.